whoa, <laughs> that was something. Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Before we start, check this out. How awesome is that? I actually got it for my birthday from a friend that makes these. So let's put it on. <clears throat> whoa. We got some merch, but we're not selling yet. Anyway, how are you doing today? I'm Ines Alea and we're gonna see something pretty exciting. We're gonna see how to add some angel wings to yourself. Let's do that right now. All right, so here we are in Adobe After Effects. This is the footage that I will be working with. When you're gonna be working with footage to add wings behind yourself, try to have something on your t-shirt that has some kind of logo or some kind of image on the t-shirt so you can track that afterwards. This is something very important. Right here, I have the Licked logo, uh, which I will be using uh, to track my footage so that the wings, when I put them behind myself, are going to be tracked onto my movement of my body. So that's what you want. Next, what you want are some wings, of course. So to get some wings, you have to look at animals that have wings because that's going to be your best bet. So I went to pexels.com because they have royalty free images and I found myself a nice bird wing right here, which I will be using for this tutorial. Hopefully that will work out, but I think it will work pretty nicely because it's like a frontal image of the wing and it's also pretty sharp. It doesn't have too much motion blur. So that's exactly what we want. So we have our footage. You can actually download this with the link in the description below. And before we continue with this tutorial, I wanna announce something super, super exciting. I've been waiting for months to share this. We have been working so hard behind the scenes in making this possible for you. Okay, so, so here's the deal. We have the website creatorgalaxy.com and we just launched our subscription model and we're gonna give you a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm not even kidding. For Black Friday, we're gonna give so much value. We're gonna give you everything that we have on our website for an entire year. We, you can literally download anything on our website for an entire year for only $99. I mean, where are you gonna find templates, presets, specs, everything just for this amount of price. We're never gonna be doing such an amazing deal. And not only the templates that are already on the website, but also the templates or anything that we will be uploading on our website in the coming years. So we're not gonna be sitting still. We really have a big dream here. We wanna make a platform where any filmmaker can find anything they want. We're gonna make courses, we're gonna add music, we're gonna add stock for only $99. $99. So we're gonna put a link in the description where you can find out more about our website and it will also help to support this channel. And yeah, it's gonna be such an amazing journey and we hope to welcome you to the Creator Galaxy family. All right, so back with the tutorial. Okay, so I have my bird right here. I wanna isolate both of these wings. So what I'll be doing is duplicate this layer by clicking and then Control D and I'm gonna rename this first one to wing one wing two then i'm going to click on wing one solo this layer for now and i'm going to take my pen tool because i think that's just working a little bit better than the roto brush tool but you can try the roto brush tool and just try to roto it out that way and i'm just going to fast forward from here just masking out the entire wing as good as possible So our entire bird is keyed out and you can see that where it was really kind of saturated blue I kind of left it as it is because what I can do now is go to effect Keying and just use a key light and just choose the blue color over here and that will key out all the blue So we have our bird keyed out here, which is cool And actually I'm going to delete the wing too because we actually keyed everything out here and then what I want to do is just duplicate my shot here and mask out one wing. Press M on the keyboard and just choose intersect. And then for the other one, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to select that one and then just mask out the wing here. So we don't have the bird anymore. Intersect. There we go. 
Okay, so we have two wings here, uh, which is really great. We want some variation in there. You can also work with one wing and then just use it on the other side and just flip it around. But this way, the, the lighting is gonna be a little bit different and it's just gonna look a little bit more realistic. All right, so now what we have here is our footage and here I do have to rotoscope myself, unfortunately. You can also work with a portable green screen like we usually do, but this, and uh, this time it was actually super, super windy. We couldn't hold the green screen. We didn't have someone to hold it. So I just said like, okay, <laughs> we'll fix it in post. Like, yeah, I'm one of them now. Anyway, so we'll have to do the hard work and rotoscope. And then that way you also get to see something a little bit different, super exciting stuff. We just double click on our footage and we're gonna start doing this good old rotoscoping stuff. So we drag over here and try to make your first key as good as possible. So really pay attention to all the details here. Four to six weeks later. All right, so I have my rotoscope here. It's not perfect, but it will get the job done. If you have more time to spare, enjoy yourself. It's really awful. <laughs> I hate rotoscoping. Anyway, um, I've done it. I got through it. And now what we want to do is bring our wings in here or actually I want to bring a single wing so I'm going to head in my wing composition I'm also going to rename this to wings like that and I'm going to click on one wing just solo it okay one wing go to layer pre-compose this and move all the attributes wing one and then just pre-compose the other one as well wing two okay so now we can go to the main comp and bring in wing one behind our rotoscope we can unsolo everything and press s on the keyboard just scale it a little bit you can also go to the anchor point and just position it in the center of the wing here so now we can move it over here we can rotate it and that way it will get behind us so that looks pretty cool i think something like that works best then we can bring in our wing two and we're going to do the same thing so i'm going to move it over here go to the anchor point move it in the kind of center, move the wing over here and then press S on the keyboard, scale it down to kind of fit the size of the other wing, maybe a little bit more, and then rotate it. And now we have our wings in position and oh my God, that looks so cool. Okay, so of course we don't need them before, like I have the, the roads come starting from here. I don't need that, so there we go, cool. So now we want to track our wings onto our character, or in this case, me. So I'm going to click on my footage and I'm just going to add the Mocha AECC effect. I'm going to jump into the Mocha window. And what I'm going to be doing is click and select my licked logo here. And there we go. I'm going to track it backwards and then let it do its thing. It's going pretty quickly, as you can see. Boom, and then we click over here, track forward. And, oh my God, I love working with Full HD footage. It's so much faster than 4K. Okay, so we're gonna save this and then go into the tracking data, create track data, click on the yeah gear icon right here, select the layer, click OK. That will create the tracking data. And now we wanna export the option transform to a new null object, which we have to create a new null object and we're going to rename this track go to our regular layer and in the layer export to we're going to select our track and apply export boom okay cool now we're going to select both of our wings and we're just going to parent them with the track and now if we're going to play this forward you can see that our wings are tracked to my body of course if you have a central image it would work better in general because you have like your spine this is kind of on the side it moves a little bit off but it's doing a pretty decent job. Okay, so now what we wanna do is animate our wing to open. And when you're going to try and animate, you always have to imagine yourself in the thing you wanna animate. So for in, so in this instance, try to imagine yourself as a bird. How would a bird work? Do your research, look on YouTube. How does a bird actually open its wings? The only problem is it opens from the side. In this case, it will open from the back. So try to imagine that and be, be a little bit creative. If you follow me on Instagram, by the way, you saw the funny video where I was like doing weird kind of stuff. So I'm going to jump into this composition and we're going to animate our wing here. So 
What I will be doing is going to my puppet pin tool. I'm going to select the advanced pin tool. We're gonna click over here, over here, and then over here, and then just try to animate it in. So we're gonna press U on the keyboard, select all of these keyframes, bring them over to like two seconds, and then go into the beginning, and here we wanna try and animate our wing inside there. So actually, we're gonna select this keyframe, hold shift, and then select these here, and kind of bring this up. Then select away, click these, and bring these down. Like how a regular wing actually works. Then click on this one and kind of rotate it just a little bit to get the deformation kind of correct. And then for this one, we're actually going to offset it a little bit so it stays in a little bit more. And just basically play around until you have something that works for you and just easy ease them and then you will have like a smooth animation go into the graph editor play around with these if you're not familiar with the graph editor i just suggest that you play around a little bit it's not like something that i could dive in too much detail right now all right so once you have your first wing down go back to the main composition jump into wing 02 and just basically do the same thing or what you can do is just use your first wing and then just um, flip it on the other side it depends on how much time and effort you want to put in this but if you're gonna do a second one it's gonna have a different animation maybe that makes it even more realistic so um, i'm just gonna do this one quickly i'm gonna click over here to the advanced wing click here here and then in the kind of joints here, there we go. So then we have to put it back into our composition. Uh, so we'll go to the main comp and solo this for now. And then you just have to kind of wing it to get it into the right position. Okay, so one thing that I did wrong is I cut it. So I'm going to just drag it over and then just drag it over here. So we actually get the start of the wings and we see here the wings in the back, so we're kind of going to try and get them out of here, so. Okay, and then press S on the keyboard and we're gonna scale up our wings here. So we're going to like forward a little bit in time, make a keyframe for the scale and then go back to zero and then scale it until you don't see it in your shot anymore. So we do see it over here, so I'm going to move them over and just scale them a little bit okay there we go so we get them really nice in the shot like that also right click keyframe assistance easy ease drag it over maybe a little bit more and also fade it a little bit and boom now they're gonna grow become super awesome <laughs> Looks like I actually got wings, man. And also something that I kept in mind is you can see that the sun is coming from the right side. So I have a bright wing here and a darker one here. So I could have switched it up uh, depending on where the light is coming from. You want to keep that in mind as well to make it look as realistic as possible. Okay, that's, that's cool. So now we can grade our wings. Uh, for instance, I want them to be like black. So I will go for a color correction tint and also color correction curves and I'm also going to bring down the highlights a little bit and bring down a little bit of this but I'm going to introduce a little bit of color so that's looking pretty cool something like that and I'm going to select the tint and the curves Control C and then just paste it on the second wing and now we have our dark awesome wings and then lastly I'm going to add some motion blur to my wing to make it even more realistic so what I'll do is click on the wing and then I'm going to add the RSMB um, plugin which is actually an external plugin but it represents motion blur so well like it recreates motion blur so realistically so I really enjoy this plugin I'm also going to paste that to my first wing over here and then we have that and also you can add like a quick adjustment layer transform, rename it transform, bring it on top. And I'm also going to add a transform effect to it. And then click on the scale, click on the anchor point, press U on the keyboard, 
and I'm just going to zoom in like 120 or 130, bring the anchor point more towards my face, bring these keyframes to the beginning, and then just reset this one and reset the scale, and then bring these towards the end. And now we have like a zoom out with wings. <sighs> That's it, man. All right, so that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget Black Friday. Check out our website. I will put a link in the description below. $99 just for an entire year for Black Friday. So definitely don't wait too long to get your subscription. It's going to be worth it. I can promise you that. It's going to be so awesome. I'm so looking forward to 2020. And apart from that, I hope to see you in the next one. And also, are you subscribed yet? You can subscribe to the channel. It's free and click on the notification bell so you stay notified when I upload awesome videos like this one. Take care and goodbye.